Holy crap! It's a new loading screen! What the heck is this? They've added new weird loading screens! That is so weird! <laughs> Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Starlord, and today we're actually going to be looking at the all new items in the Season 3 Battle Pass. I'm actually making this video for those of you who are at school, or at work, or something like that. And for those of you who can't actually get to your console, or your PC, and check it out. So, before we actually get into looking at the new items, guys, please remember to leave a like, and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, in case something like this happens again in the future. So, this is the first time I'm actually loading up right now, so I'm going to click close on that. And, um, again, the loading screen looks so weird. I don't know, I'm not too sure if I like it. So, let's go into Battle Royale. Holy crap, that looks sexy. And, um, let's get in. So first thing that pops up is if that if you actually bought the season two battle pass, you will start the season three battle pass with five free tiers, uh, which is the equivalent of fifty stars. Very awesome little reward. Uh, thank you very much, Fortnite. And uh, also here it says that uh, yeah, just all of the new stuff really. That's about it to be honest. So let's say uh, pass that battle pass tier up. You've reached uh, tier six. Two items have been unlocked, and this is the um, some kind of weird little book and also a donut. So yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, looks a little tiny bit different now. They've actually changed like the look of that. Uh, let's just get straight into the locker. What have I unlocked? I've unlocked a new. Oh crap! Okay, so because I've um, actually got the pink teddy bear skin, I now have the bow back string, uh, back bling, so I can put it on my um, any one of my characters, and also I can put the shield on too, which looks pretty darn, pretty darn cool in my opinion. I like that. So getting into the actual battle pass itself, um, as you can see. Um, Let's see, I haven't actually bought it yet, so I need to buy it, so let me see, um, I'm not going to get that one, I will be getting this, there you go, so I've just bought it right then, battle pass upgraded, and we have now unlocked all of these, so first thing is a 50% personal boost, a 10% boost for your friends, and also the mission specialist, um, guy and what else have we got here let's see we got uh, battle pass challenges more xp um, another five free tiers 100 v books a banner icon of an egg a wow expression and also a suppressed pistol loading screen looks pretty cool looks pretty cool indeed other than that i'm one away from getting the sawtooth um harvesting tool hack away you hack your way to victory part of the swarm scavenger set looks pretty cool um, other than that we get a thief llama kind of little emoticon 5 xp um a new salute emote which looks okay um a hundred v bucks some new um loading screens we also get a heartbroken um, emoticon and also an in love emoticon not only that, but we get a rainbow rider to actually go with the um, the rainbow girl uh, skin. I can't remember, but that looks that looks interesting. I like it. That looks pretty cool. It's got little rainbows on. It's nice. Um, we also get some banner icons, XP, another 100, 100 V-Bucks there. A new rainbow skydiving trail looks, looks very, very interesting. I like that. That's probably what I'm going to use. Uh, other than that, we get the Rocket Rider Emoticon and also a 10, uh, sorry, a back bling that is precision. You can actually get this if you're level 22 uh, without the, se the season battle pass. So that's uh, pretty cool. That looks nice. Um, and also we get the Rust Lord, which basically looks like Star Lord, but in a rusty looking like dystopian kind of suit. I like that. I really like that. Let me just check if he has anything on, the, on his back. Oh, no, he doesn't have any black bling, so that's kind of poopy. Um, other than that, we get some more, I uh, think, yeah, we got good game. Uh, let's see, a little chick. We get some more V-Bucks. Another loading screen of a nice little uh, shotgun right there. That looks sick. Um, we also get a bush emoticon. Another loading screen, which is the original one, I guess. We got our first dance emote, I guess, which is called Take the L, Savor the, w the W, which I like. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Um, moving on, let's see, we get more EXP, more V-Bucks, we get an Ultramarine Skydiving uh, Trail, which looks, that looks really cool actually, I really like that one, it's nice. Um, we also get an Aw Little Kitty, we get a Carbon Glider, which I do not like, I think that's pretty crappy in my opinion, personally. Um, other than that, again, we get a Positivity uh, Emoticon, another loading screen of a llama with a rainbow. And um, we also get an Eva harvesting tool. Eva, Eva, is that from like, is that meant to be a, um, let's see, part of the Space Explorer set? 
I don't know. I thought maybe that was actually a reference to Bioshock because of the juice that they stab into them, but I guess not. We also get a thumbs up emoticon. And also an Astro Black back bling. That looks absolutely sick. I love that one. It's like a little logo of the space on, on the side. That's pretty cool. Um, other than that, we get an all-star Skyven set, which I will definitely be using. That's my favorite one so far. I like it. Nice. Um, we get some more V-Bucks. A 1 HP emoticon. I like this one. Probably my favorite emoticon they've made. Um, an A, pl A plus one. And also at level 55, we do get the Moonwalker, uh, which is the female variant of the spacesuit. Very, very nice indeed. Um, other than that, we get a hot dog emoticon. Let's see. Minigun uh, concept art. A dance, which I absolutely love. It, it reminds me of the War Melon guy. The one who likes to do that, like, dance on, um, on Vine. I love that. That is absolutely amazing. Who's your best mate? Well, anyway. Right. Other than that, we get a, um, a Hoarder emoticon. Uh, a new little banner icon, uh, Bubbles Diving, uh, Skydiving Trails, which looks interesting, I guess. We also get a Dark Voyager. Holy crap! That looks amazing, dude! Dude, that is sick. What the heck? Oh my god. From the vast darkness of Deep Space, part of the Space Explorer set. That looks absolutely sick. Oh my Jesus Christ. I love it. Um, we also get a Dark Matter one to actually go with it. I cannot wait to see what we unlock at the very end here. Um, we also get a new banner icon, 200 IQ play, um, more free V-Bucks, uh, the Raptor concept art, which looks pretty cool. Uh, we also get the trusty number two, uh, which is a, a harvesting tool with a pencil at the end of it, which is pretty, imagine stabbing someone with that. Jesus Christ. Um, so that looks pretty nice. We also get a flaming rage. Uh, let's see, we get the Flame Skydiving set, which looks pretty nice. We also get a Kaboom um, Dark Voyager uh, kind of, um, I guess, emoticon. We get an Elite Agent, which looks amazing, part of the Black Vector set. Damn, that looks sweet. I like it. Uh, we also get another little uh, rainbow thing. Uh, they're, they're focusing on this unicorn stuff quite a lot, really, aren't they? Um, the Elite Agent loading screen, which looks nice. Um, we also get the robot. Finally! Finally, they had the robot in. I like that. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's for level 95. And then finally, for the last uh, four tiers, uh, or five tiers, I guess, we get EXP. We get the emoticon number one. Uh, Jurassic Park looking the uh, banner icon. The Reaper, uh, which is... Like, a lot of people said it was Scarface, but personally for me, like, now that he's actually called the Reaper, I all I can see is John Wick. I know that, like, the, the art they, in which they revealed him looked like Scarface, but to me, this dude just looks like John Wick. I don't know. I would love a confirmation on whether or not it's actually meant to be John Wick or Scarface. Um, and other than that, we also get, um, let's see, it says, complete challenges to earn a sweet reward. So you get a, a another challenge book, I guess, at the end of it, which is pretty interesting. I like it. Um, so also, I want to go over the challenges, which is pretty cool too. Um, I'm not too sure how this is going to work, but these are the first week's challenges for everybody. So everyone can do these ones. So first off, we have to outlive a thousand opponents. We have to play uh, 10 matches with friends, deal 5,000 damage to opponents. We have to land at different name locations. We also have to play 50 matches, reach level 25, and win a match. And as you can see, they have this new kind of ranking thing. So if something's hard, you know, uh, I'm, I like the way they've actually added the win a match to this. Uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult. It gives it gives people something to look for. Um, but also, we're going to take a look at the week one challenges for the battle pass owners, which is deal five da uh, 500 damage with pistols, search chests in Pleasant Park, revive players, visit a llama, fox, and a crab. Um, I know exactly what these are. I'm not going to ruin them. So, yeah, um, good luck on that. We also have to follow the treasure map found at Dusty Depot, which is hard. Also, sniper rifle eliminations, which is hard, and eliminate po opponents in fatal f uh, fields. Um, I love these new challenges. They look, they sound so sick. They sound so sick. I'm loving them. Um, I'm gonna switch over to this dude. I'm gonna put a bow on his back too. And uh, also, we do get a loading screen. I'm not too sure about that. Let's just throw it on anyway. Um, and also, did I get some new emotes? I did, but it's crappy. 
Um, well, anyway, guys, very interesting indeed. I'm really loving this new update, and uh, I hope that you guys will definitely check out the channel for more videos just like this. I've got a lot of content, including how to actually uh, find the treasure map and how to actually visit the Llama, Fox, and Crab for this week's challenges. So please stay tuned on the channel, and uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Enjoy the update. Until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.